Hello friends, in today's video I wanted to talk you through how I made this wonderful little plaque with hooks on it so you could hang jewellery or keys off of and in general it could be very useful in your normal day-to-day -day life. So my base is made out of MDF, I bought like a pack of 10 of these on eBay a long time ago so I decided to make a little plaque for myself. So the first thing that I did was prime my plaque, I used Rust-Oleum chalk paint in white and I applied two coats of it and sanded it after it was dry to make sure that my plaque was nice and smooth. Then I applied my napkin, so the napkin that I decided to use was this lovely blue tit napkin. It, this is the last piece that I had lying around, so I'm using up my leftovers. I usually buy all of my napkins on eBay, but there are also lots of people on Facebook that sell decoupage napkins, and a lot of them ship worldwide as well. So the method that I use to apply my napkin to make sure that I don't get any creases is my favorite water method. If you haven't seen my video on it, I will link it below and up in the cards as well. The only difference from that video that I do now is instead of using Mod Podge, I use my water-based varnish to seal the napkin with. So instead of using glue, I use varnish straight away. I find that it gives a smoother finish to the napkin while also protecting it just as well. And like I said, then I seal my napkin with varnish. The varnish that I'm using at the moment is Decorator's Varnish by Polyvine in dead flat finish. I did end up applying two or three coats of it, mainly because I was also varnishing another piece. And while I'm varnishing another piece, I may as well just apply another extra coat. But to be honest, it's not necessary. One or two coats will be enough. Then I apply my Transparent Outliner for Glass by Pebeo. This is number 067 in the colour Pearl. I apply it all over the edge of my napkins, so kind of forming a nice little border. I don't know, I just really like the look of them. You don't necessarily have to do it. It will, probably would have looked just fine without it, but that's what I wanted to do. And I'll leave it to dry for a few hours. After my outliner was dry, I went in and I toned the borders of the plaque as well as over the napkin itself. So the look that I was going for was a quite dark but also weathered looking brown border that kind of fades into the napkin itself. So the first thing that I tried was my acrylic paints. I watered them down a little bit and so as you can see I just apply a little bit over the border of my plaque and over the transparent outliner that I applied. I leave it for a couple of seconds and then I wipe it all away and so most of it wipes away but it also kind of leaves a nice little shadow. Then after I did it all around the edges I wanted to make it a little bit darker. I wasn't happy with the way that it was turning out. It would have taken me just a lot longer. I went in and I took my um, chocolate coloured um, daily art paint. It is an acrylic paint but it's a lot chalkier and so it gives you a lot more tone when you wipe it away and I just repeat that process until I was happy. And so as you can see, it, it doesn't really paint the outliner. It, the outliner stays the same color, apart from just getting a slight little tint to it. And I just repeated that process until I was happy. Now, so when you do this kind of thing, the key is to start with a watered down solution. Try and, and test it on a little patch, see how it goes. And then if, if you're noticing that you're not getting enough color, you can always add more paint to it. If you're struggling to get the paint excess off, then just dip your cloth in water a little bit, make it a little bit damp and it should start coming off for you. Also, it does help if you're just starting out with doing something like this. Then you could apply a couple of layers of glossy varnish and, and usually it wipes off of glossy varnish quite well.
and then it was time to apply my crackle varnish so the varnish that I'm using is by Pentart and it's a fine line two-step crackle. I have actually done a talk through tutorial on how to use this particular crackle varnish so if you're interested to find out all of the ins and outs of working with this particular crackle varnish then go ahead and watch that. I'll leave it in the description and also in the cards but essentially I apply my step one, I let it dry, I apply my step two, again let it dry wait for the cracks to appear. I did end up having to use my hair dryer to get the cracks to show up because I live in a very humid place but the cracks did show themselves and then I evidenced the cracks using a dry metallic pigment the one that I used is in royal gold and it's by Daily Art again I use a soft acrylic brush to apply my pigment onto it it is important to use a brush and not your fingers and then where you've touched it with your fingers the pigment isn't going to come off After I've showed off the cracks, I seal it with a solvent-based yacht varnish. Again, it is important to use a solvent-based varnish when using this particular crackle medium because water-based will just kind of make it all melt away. Water-based varnish and this crackle are not compatible, so I take it outside and I give it a good spray. With my crackle sealed it's time to take care of the back of the plaque and I literally just went ahead and I painted the back with the same chocolate colour by Daily Art that I used on the edges of the plaque. I applied a couple of layers of it and then I took it outside and I sprayed a few layers of that yacht varnish over the back of it as well. I could have easily sealed it with a water-based varnish or with a wax but there's something about using the same varnish on the whole project that I just like and in this case it was really easy so that's what I ended up doing. And then the last bit that I had left to do was to add the hooks on the front and the back. On the back I used a little saw hook so that I could hang it on my wall. I applied the hook on the back first because the hooks that I applied on the front of the plaque were a lot bigger so it would have been a lot harder for me to apply them so I wouldn't have been able to lay the plaque down flat um, so I do the back and then I applied four hooks on the front again most of my hardware I either just find shops through google search or I go on ebay and I look and I type in what I'm after and there's usually loads of people that come up And that, my friends, is the end of the video. I really hope that you enjoyed this project. I hope that you learned something new today. And of course, if you do have any comments, any questions, leave them in the comment section down below the video. If you would like to suggest a video idea to me, also leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me. Click the little bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. If you would like to connect with me on other social media, you can find the links in the description below as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.